renting, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. I couldn't afford it on my income. Staring down an eviction at the Welding Court Mobile Home Park, Carmen Prieto was optimistic heading into tonight's city council meeting. I'm excited, anxiety. I want to hear good news. I want to see things that's going to happen to us. Right now, Carmen doesn't know where she'll live next, only that she can't move her 1973 mobile home. At tonight's city council meeting, council members and housing assistant experts residents. outlined ways to help Frankly, others like Carmen. They included immediate so we'll measures we'll like rental assistance and housing navigation services to longer term options like impacted, zoning changes and ways for mobile home residents to own the property they live on. It takes an immense amount of time to get to move in and now you're somewhat stable. But time isn't on many of these residents' side. Welding Court has told residents they need to leave by April 1st. At Las Casitas Mobile Home Park near 19th and Buckeye, they've got until May 1st. While at Periwinkle, next to GCU, they have until May 28th. And so far, the number of households at all three places that have found new housing is either zero or at single digits. In getting any entitled benefits, all of the steps to get those benefits are very cumbersome in the sense of paperwork, signatures, documentation. Former Maricopa County attorney candidate Julie Gunnigal and Community Legal Services, they are hosting a special update for that Walden Court situation. They are the first ones, if you remember, that have to leave that property. We've attached more information on that tomorrow. It starts at 6 on our AZ Family News app. Live in Phoenix, Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's family. Elliot, thank you. Major